if we move into productive strategies, reducing waste and changing diets, we can feed humanity within current land boundary conditions. We need a revolution of capitalism. We do not need to change capitalism. That model works well. We need to make sure that we include returns on natural and social capital. There is an awareness amongst young people. And now it is time for us politicians to do the same. Dear friends and colleagues, it's wonderful to see you here. Welcome to the Sustainability Science Congress, hosted by the University of Copenhagen. Here, more than 700 researchers, businesses and politicians from more than 50 different nations met to discuss global challenges and solutions. Not just climate change, but a range of interconnected challenges was on the agenda of this three-day congress in Copenhagen. Food, energy and urban systems soon became central points for the Congress, acknowledging that both science, society and education need to adapt to a systems-based approach if we are to solve the global challenges we're facing. The real approach is a systems-based approach. Yeah. Science is good at describing systems, but science is not good at providing answers yeah. to how to manage these systems. And that's what science needs to get better at. Also, there was an urgent call for social sciences to deliver new knowledge and understanding of people's behavior and what can stimulate changes. If I should just mention one area where I think that as a decision maker, I would need more input from science than it is when it comes to the behavioral part. The development of systems-based thinking and integrating social and natural sciences is only possible with a highly interdisciplinary community of researchers and sectors. The Congress successfully overcame the traditional barriers between sectors and scientific disciplines and rolled out a new model for dialogue-based sustainability congresses. So where do we go from here? One answer highlighted is to strengthen the education of the next generation of sustainability scientists and encourage them to build interdisciplinary networks and collaborations. You have students who are on sustainability tracks who do study systems or environmental science, but then you have a lot of students within the tertiary education system who are totally disengaged from sustainability and climate change, which really should be integrated into all industries and all careers. Through the Congress, the International Alliance of Research Universities demonstrated an ability to bring disciplines together and reach out to businesses and decision makers by creating a dialogue-based forum. We look forward to future opportunities to address sustainability challenges together.